So you're thinking about moving to the Gulf Shores, Orange Beach area, and you want to know everything there is to know, especially where to get a good steak? Well, today we're going to tell you. Um, in this video, we're going to go over some of, the, uh, some of our favorite steak places. So uh, we're going to go over that and let's get out. This is your first time to the channel um, just make sure that you hit the like button hit the subscribe button and ring the little bell so you can be the first ones notified about the current market situation in the orange beach gulf shores area and all the surrounding areas too uh, we do this is i'm mandy hollis this is aileen fountain my partner and we do videos just like this every week so we'll give you all the information you need to know about you know moving to the area living in the area um, any even vacationing in the area um, we're with EXP Realty, and like I said, we do, we do these videos every week just to be informative, just to let people know, you know, all the stuff there is to know, all the ins and outs, the good and the What it's like bad. to really live here. Absolutely. Uh, we love it. I mean, we get calls and emails and texts and everything from people just like you every single day, and we absolutely love it. I mean, we just love it. So don't be afraid to pick up the phone and call us if it's nine days or 90 days before you're thinking about making your move. Please give us a call, shoot us a text, shoot us an email, schedule a Zoom call so you can talk to us face to face. We'd love to talk to you and help you make a smooth move to our little slice of paradise. All right, so today we're talking about um, steak places to eat. And uh, like I said before, Aileen, our, our, our list was pretty close. So uh, we're just going to go over the top 10. Mm -hmm. um, some of them are going to shock you, I think, uh, you know, because because I'll just be flat out and tell you, number 10 on my list is you wouldn't think, absolutely you wouldn't think for a steak, but O-Choppers. O I know we mentioned them in the wings. You know, they do have, oh my God, phenomenal wings, which you can watch that video and, and learn all about their wings. But uh, O-Choppers has a really good steak. I mean, it would surprise you. Have you ever had it? I have seen the steak and it looks great, but when I go to Choppers, I have to get yeah, the wings. Yeah, have to get wings. Give it a try. Um, Number nine on my list is actually Wolf Bay. Wolf Bay. Um, I know most everybody goes to Wolf Bay for their salad. Um, and they do have, they have a really good salad bar, but they also have a really good steak, believe it or not. I mean, it's pretty tender. Yeah. Well, give it a try. Yep. Number eight on the list is um, actually, in my opinion, is Big Fish. Uh, I mean, listen, my wife and I, our first date was at Big Fish. So, you know, our first official date. You know, we know the owner. He always comes over and talks to us. Always, like you said, excellent service. Oh, yeah, excellent service. Uh, never had a bad meal there. I have had their steak a number of times there. There is, It is a very good steak. At number seven on my list is uh, Cobalt. Cobalt has, uh, in my opinion, a pretty good steak. Um, I don't know that they're actually known for their steak. The you know the, the whole atmosphere, the view that you get at Cobalt is, is just unbelievable. Number six, um, I've got Voyager's. Is, uh, and Voyagers, if you don't know where that's at, a lot of people don't. Um, that is, it's in Perdido Beach Resort, white tablecloth. It kinda. is, it, yeah. You, I would, you say, would say, that. say that. Yes, I would say <clears> it, <throat> but, it's, it's to me is like the only true fine dining on the island. Voyagers is directly on the beach. It's in Orange Beach. It is, you know, something that I would certainly say, you know, if you're coming into town, I would definitely go. It's, it's an experience to eat there. A lot of really good food. I can't say as if I've actually had their steak there, but I've eaten there a number of times to know their food is very, very good. Well, and if you're staying there at Perdido Beach Resort, yeah. I mean, you just literally, you know, walk downstairs and go eat. I mean, right. it's, yeah. So, I mean, yeah, great place. Um, number five on my list is Carver's. And Carver's is, if you want to eat at Carver's, you need to call and make a reservation <laughs> because Carver, if you don't, you won't eat at Carver's. <laughs> well, that's funny. Yeah, we, uh, I had, uh, one of my best friends was in town. We were doing her birthday dinner and she wanted to try some new places. I gave her Carver's as an option and she ended up oh. choosing Carver's. So we all went to Carver's. Uh, of course, I had the steak there. It was an excellent steak. I thought the flavor was great. Number four on my list is probably, I think it's probably number one on your list is actually is. Jesse's. Yep. Uh, Jesse's is a to me, it's a little far out. It is far out. Um, it but is. But it's worth the drive. I mean, it really is worth the drive. But Jesse's is, in my opinion, 
the number one place. It is known for its steaks. It's got a lot of different cuts. And they're building a new one, aren't they? Yep. Yeah. Uh, they're they're and they're building one. This is big news. They're building one down Fort Morgan Road, which yeah. people are very very excited about. And then number three on my list is actually a little further than Jesse's, I think, isn't it? Uh, ten top. No, ten top's a little closer. closer? Ten, ten okay. top's off of ten. You you go down ten, you head west, and you get into Bon Secours. Tin Top is a very cool spot. I have yep. not had their steak. I've eaten oh. there many 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 times. So now I'm going to have to specifically go yeah. and get a steak to see if it falls They're number on my three, ranking. four, a reason. Number three is pretty high. Yeah, absolutely. Number three, four, a reason. Number two on my list is um, Sunset Cork Room. I mean, Sunset Cork Room is just, oh, a phenomenal steak. And like we were saying earlier, it is a white tablecloth kind of little deal. It's more Small, of a uh, romantic quaint. feeling. Yep. If you want to eat at Sunset Cork Room, you better make a reservation. And we will go to their wine pairing night. They have it, and it's a set menu, and they pair all the wines, and it hmm. is fantastic. I mean, I'm not, you know, I will not normally venture How out. How come I didn't know about this? I'm telling you about it okay. now. <laughs> I will not normally venture out of my cab wine. You know, yeah. I'm always going to get a red wine, but with them pairing the different wines, and it's always just so good. Well, number one on my list, and I think it was number one on your list, or no, it wasn't. No. It was number two on your list. Yep is um and we did a video about it earlier you can watch it is uh, local and company local and company is in foley alabama it's uh like i said it's my number one for a couple of different reasons number one the flavor of the steak is just phenomenal um number two you literally can cut it with a fork that's true i mean you literally yep. can cut it with a fork like I said, I, I told a story earlier. You know, I asked the lady for a knife. She said she, you didn't need yep. one, which was, yeah, I, I, it blew knife. me away. Yep. Yeah, it blew me away. There. It's just um, north of 98 uh, on Highway 59, and it is relatively new. It's only probably been open for about two years. And the cool thing about it to me is it's got that, if you've ever been to a restaurant in Atlanta, it has that Atlanta feel to it. Well, that's going to do it for the um, the steak places uh, around our little area. Um, again, if we didn't mention the place that you love, make sure to put it in the comments. Uh, we're always about going to try, you know, new places to eat. Um, I mean, if it, even if it's someplace we have tried, you know, we'll go try it again. Maybe they've changed. I used to not like docks. I didn't like docks just because, number one, you went in there and you smelled like a, a hush puppy when you left. But... And then everything just tasted the same to me. But it's not that way anymore. Docs has improved Well, that's interesting you say that because I've always said that Docs was overrated. Yeah. And I, I haven't been there in years for that reason. you got to retry it. I'm I, telling you. it's it's. I'll take your word for really, it. Really, really changed. Okay. Um, but anyway, that'll do it for this video, guys. And again, if you, if, if you want to mention to us mm -hmm. about videos that you'd like to see, uh, just put it in the comment section and we'll take a look at it and hopefully uh, we'll cut us a, cut a video and inform you about our little area. And again, if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, ring the bell for notifications so you'll be the first to learn about our current market conditions in our area and all the things going around in our little slice of paradise. But until then, see you around town.